Hi. I'm gonna be honest, it's been quite the stressful day. Actually, no, stressful is not the right word. I've been dorm shopping all day, and I think the better word is overwhelmed. I'm also still home alone, and my sister's been gone all week, and I don't know what to do with myself. And I have an audition next week that I need to prepare for. Ah! So, to procrastinate all of the things that I need to do, I'm gonna make some denim shorts. I don't know what I was gonna say. Oh, I made a pledge to myself that this summer I would not purchase a single pair of denim shorts. And I have done just that. Shorts from stores like American Eagle, Paxson, they just don't fit me. I'm tired of having a camel toe wearing those shorts. I'm tired of it. Now I just buy jeans, cut them into shorts, sew them to fit me perfectly, and that's that. People always ask me where I get my shorts from, and I tell them that I've sewed them. And then they ask me, how did you do that? So for all those people that have asked me how I make my shorts, you've come to the right place. And I'm actually wearing my favorite pair of shorts that I've made right now. Let me show you. They're the perfect length. They're short, but they're not too short. These are the pair of shorts that most people ask me how I made, so now I'm gonna try to make an equivalent of these shorts. Great. I picked up this pair of Levi's men's jeans from the thrift store yesterday. They were $8. <coughs> My ears are clogged. I can't hear out of this ear. That's concerning. Let's get started. Look like a mole rat. Okay. I need to turn the fan on. All right. So first thing that you're going to want to do is literally just take a pair of scissors and just hack the legs off. Don't hack them off too short. I always save the legs because I'm always like, oh my god, I'll do something like fun and crafty with them. It's like extra fabric. And then do I ever? Of course not. Um, I forgot to say that it doesn't matter what size you get. If you find ones that fit your waist like good, congratulations. I've never been able to do that. So what I usually do now is I specifically just look for the fabric that I want, like the wash of denim that I want. These are, as we saw, very big on my waist, so I'm going to bring in the waist. And here is how I do that. It's kind of complicated, but we got this. So, so basically, if you're gonna bring in the waist in your jeans, you basically need to deconstruct them. You're just gonna need a seam ripper. If you don't have a seam ripper, please invest in one. Don't go around using scissors to rip your seams. You're just signing up for a bad day. I'm gonna take off the label and I'm gonna take off the pockets on the back because if we take in the sides of the jeans, then the pockets are gonna look really far apart and our ass is just gonna look really weird and we just don't want that. Update on my sickness, I'm still not better. So really thrilled about that. This lady at Bed Bath & Beyond today, she said, wow, everyone's coming in sick. Why Why are you sick? I said, oh, I don't know. And she's like, you just have allergies. And I'm like, no, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I've been sick for like eight weeks. And she's like, I scared her. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, wait, I just realized something. <laughs> Taking in the waist of your shorts, you're gonna wanna make sure to take out these weird little button things because they're just gonna really ruin your life if you don't. I promise you they'll come apart. It's just gonna take a lot of perseverance and a lot of pulling. Use whatever you can, pliers, tweezers. They should come apart easily. If they don't come apart easily, it's definitely because you're doing something wrong. I learned that the hard way. I'm getting pliers. I got pliers. Ugh, twist and pull, that's the trick. Ow, oh, my hand's cramping! <gasps> I don't know that that was a feeling that I could have. Ah! <sighs> I got it! Happy girl. Ugh. Jesus Christ. <sighs> no, I got this. Okay, so now that that part is over, um, we're actually gonna cut them to the length that we want because then it'll all make sense. Here is where cutting shorts is extremely critical. It all is in the way that you lay them. Step one, flip the pockets inside out. Two, make sure the top is like lined up with each other. So you're gonna wanna make sure that the pant leg that you're cutting is lying completely flat. Let me show you. So, do you see how this is lying completely flat and this is like 
straightened out and like flat. This is what you want. This is what you want. Just trust me. The next thing we're gonna do, you're gonna need a ruler. This is where you're gonna measure how long you want your jean shorts to be. I would recommend measuring the length of a pair of shorts that you have now. I personally usually start with about two inches. <laughs> From the crotch, I'm gonna measure two inches, and then I'm going to cut. I'm cutting kind of at an angle. The end of the ruler is following the line of the shorts. This will make sure that your shorts are being cut at like the most aesthetic angle as possible. It is so important to keep your shorts longer than you think. That way you have room to adjust, and all is good, and all is well. It's a little bit longer in the back. They're angled. It'll be great. Uh, amazing. These are all my shorts look like right now. If the jeans already fit your waist, that was all you really needed to do with your shorts. So now what you want to do is try on the shorts and we're gonna see how much we have to take in from each side. Sorry, I'm naked. The shorts kind of look a little weird right now and that's okay. Basically what you want to do, pinch them from both sides and see how much waist on each side you need to take in. So right now I have about an inch on both sides and I can always take in more and I can always take in less. Now that we've done that, you can get naked again. Okay, feel free to stay naked during this portion because you will be trying on your shorts a lot. Oh my God. Great. I'm gonna flip them inside out, always important. And make sure you zip them up as well. Taking one side of the short, I'm gonna line up everything here. Okay, so I'm going to sew an inch in this way, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and then I'm gonna try them on. I just tried the shorts on and I've determined that they're too wide at the bottom. So now what I'm gonna do, I am just going to kind of draw how I want them to go. So now that this is straight down, it's not gonna be, the shorts aren't gonna be as wide and they're gonna make sure that the crotch isn't as baggy because they're tighter around the bottom here. So I'm just gonna bring in the very bottom a little bit. After that, all I'm gonna do is just trim the bottom to my liking. Hi. As you can see, I'm not doing well. I definitely had a mental breakdown with as you can see, I had a little bit of a mental breakdown, hence the mascara running down my face. Life is just a little bit hectic right now. I just got really overwhelmed, and I was stressed sewing. I have to remember that sewing is a fun thing that I like to do, and it shouldn't be stressful. It wasn't the sewing that made me have a mental breakdown. There's just other things going on in my life. I still can't have you. It's 10 p.m., and I'm gonna finish these shorts. Also, I'm gonna leave my face like this. I am known for having a mental breakdown, and Showing it proudly, okay? We're just gonna leave it like this because I have a relatable quirky team. Ooh, something that I forgot to film is I added elastic to the back of the shorts and I took off the pockets. I don't normally do this, however, I have no problems with the right size little tight seams. So, to make them a little bit more comfortable, I added elastic so it's not as like tight around my waist. How I did that is kind of complicated. Well, actually not really. So basically I cut a hole in the waistband and I thread elastic through it. Then I just cinched it and I sewed in the elastic. Again, this is not something I would have done, but I decided to try it. I'm gonna sew the hips a little bit more straight a little bit more in, and then I'm gonna sew the pockets back on. Also, I did just there's just a lot of things happening in my body right now. Just really trying to take it one step at a time. <sighs> it's complicated. Really screwed that one up, so you can see. So much better. Things are looking up. Things are looking very up. Ooh, things are looking so up. <laughs> Heaven's sake. Hey guys, so basically I showered, then I self tanned, and then my sister went to bed. So here we are, doing a voiceover. Really sorry about this. I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to fray your jeans. Let's do it. Also, I'm not wearing a bra, so uh, I'm covering my nipples. Anyways, so basically you're gonna need a pair of tweezers, ones that could easily kill someone. Then you're gonna pull out all the white strings until it looks this is gonna take a while and you probably shouldn't do this unless you've had a proper meal and like some apple juice or something um okay good morning it is the next morning i am not doing well 
Hi, good morning. As you can see, I'm a little bit more tan because last night I wasn't feeling good, so I self-tanned and it didn't make me feel better, but at least I'm tan now. So these are the shorts. After you fray them, you need to wash them in the washer and then you're gonna wanna dry them um, like in your dryer. The best part about making these shorts is that you can really make them to fit like your body and your hips and whatever, especially because I don't have that much hip action going on. I can make them a little bit tighter on the sides so they're not as like baggy. I can make them longer in the back because my booty is long, okay? Great, and these were only $8. This is that, this is how I make these shorts. I'll do a final spin. Okay, bye.